All right, what's up, everybody? We got something a little bit different today. I uh, I recorded some footage while I was just kind of screwing around. Uh, I was listening to music, so we don't have music on here. But uh, some of these matches were just insane. I've got about an hour worth of footage of just me, you know, screwing around on here, playing with my new life gain deck. I changed it a little bit, changed two cards in it. Uh, I put in, well, we talked about the changes in a different video, but uh, we'll talk about them when they show up. Um, but pretty much these these videos are just about perseverance. They're about never giving up. They're about believing in yourself and it, just the strength that you find in, in your heart. So I hope you enjoy them. Um, it's kind of weird. I've never done post commentary. Uh, this is me having a mini seizure because this guy will not play land. But it's kind of weird. We're on the same side of the couch. It's basically like I'm sitting right next to you wherever you're sitting. Like uh, if you're sitting on your couch or at like a kitchen table it's just like we're sharing a moment, we're just in the same place. Just the two of us enjoying each other's company. I don't actually remember what the hell happens in any of these, uh, though, because I don't remember when exactly I filmed them. Uh, but we have some fun stuff here. So I think this one, I'm facing a uh, warrior dude. Um, peacekeepers keeping on that peace. But I don't think this guy does a lot just yet. The thing that makes this an interesting video is this. Like, I am land blasted. I am just blasted in the butt hole with some land. There's a couple different fun tricks uh, that I can do. Like, I, I do have moment of heroism and stuff, and so I'm not completely upset at this point, but he is hitting his land drops pretty quickly. Um, and I'm, I'm not, obviously. And even when I hit land drop three, I'm not even in business. I still need two more, like this is heartbreaking. I still need two more lands after this to even play cards. Like I can do nothing until I have four lands on the table. So this happens. It's a dude, I have to do stuff. At this point I lay this because I figured that I need the life gain. He's gonna play a lot of dudes. I, I expect there to be a lot of guys on his side of the table. So I'm hoping at this point that I can somehow get enough life to get four mana. Uh, I'm not even sure that that's gonna do it because there's so many cards that he has in his deck that are terrible for me. Like I'm a little bol uh, bolstered by the fact that he has, you know, over 60. So his ratios are a little bit lower than, you know, you would probably want them to be. But he has, uh, you know, plus two, plus two to every creature. He's got O-rings and such for removal. Uh, basically, I'm at a point where I'm looking at Moment of Heroism and I, I know that I am straight screwed because look, his board state is insane at this point. So uh, I, I, I kind of make a snap decision. I'm playing with the fact that I can block here and effectively mitigate all damage because I'll gain three life from it. I'll kill a creature and I will actually stop three damage. So effectively I'm gonna stay at 24. And since I can't draw mana, I, I know that I have to just prolong my life as long as possible. So I can't really let that damage through. Now that is crushing to me. This 4-2 sitting there is a big problem, so I really have to draw the land. I know I'm going to lose unless that happens, because I'm, I'm, hey, we start turning things around here a little bit. Um, <laughs> just that draw was like, like, that was the sickest draw. I had to get that land in order to have a chance. Uh, so we're still in trouble, obviously. I need a couple running lands in order to play Baneslayer. I assume Baneslayer is going to get O-ringed or something when it does come down. So we have obvious problems that are facing us. But at least that extra damage is not hitting me. And then Pin and Blade gets played. And I straight up have a stroke because it's I hate that card. It's not good. It is not a good time. Somebody commented on some stuff. Um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so Penn, I'm going to lose. At this point, I'm crestfallen because it appears I'm going to lose to a Pen and Blade deck. But if I can get the mana for the Chastise, when this guy wastes an entire turn to attach Pen and Blade, I'll be in business. Uh, this is a pretty great draw for me too, so I'm offering is going to allow me to get my guy back. And I make this choice instead of like, I, I think for this minute about what needs to happen what should i be more worried about and to be honest with you the plus one plus one to his side is something that he has a lot of effects for but i'll get a three three here and start killing creatures 
uh, he still would have had two, two, two first strikers and a one, one. And there are just so many cards he has that pumps his side. I really need to control the population over there. So that happens. I go ahead and, uh, get my creature back. Cause I know he's going to be a three, three. This I assume is a misclick. Uh, which is great for me. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter because I would have pitched my 1-1 one, one, uh, to block the damage. Uh, and it's it's not a terrible thing. Yeah, I guess he, he decided to tell us uh, that it was a misclick. But it, it's it's not the end of the world because um, it's, a, it's a garbage card anyway. But it does give me the opportunity to, I believe, we're going to get that planes here because we need it, really. Yeah, there it is. So four, I just won. Like, with Pen and Blade out on the field, every time he attacks is going to be the greatest thing. Like, the amount of life that I'm going to get by removing his creatures uh, is, is perfect. Like, I couldn't have asked for a better draw. I finally stabilized, to be honest with you. Uh, I get in here because I need to start damaging him. Because I know that there's a lot of things in his deck, like we've been saying, that will swing this back over to his favor. I know he's got the O-rings and stuff, so Flicker Wisp even makes that dude a 3-3 three, three again, because he does come back into play. Um, well, as long as my uh, Warden stays out there. But at this point, I'm in a lot of trouble, <laughs> because if creatures start coming down on that side, it might not matter. I absolutely freak out here, because he uh, spent all the mana that would have made Chastise not good. And he obviously didn't see it coming. So I chastised the shit out of this guy. I go up a ton of life. Get a 5-5 five, five out of the deal. Have another chastise because at this point, I know that he doesn't see it. And even though I just played the chastise, I know that my next uh, chastise is going to land as well. I don't realize that it's asking me to block. So... Stupid ass. Okay... What a dipshit. Anyway, so I finally hit the button. We go to my turn. We're in fantastic. Like, I really couldn't ask for better position right here. Oh, uh, that guy's going to be insane in a bit. I'm still a little bit worried because there is so much removal in his deck that I can no longer interact with. Uh, that was the only enchantment buster that I have in this one still. So getting rid of that so early just to get my creature back was kind of crazy uh, because there is a lot of stuff that could happen that would completely wreck me at this point. I don't have a whole lot of life gain out, but I don't want to play uh, Ascendant just yet. I, I I guess I could have, but it's only a 1-1 life linker at this point. I definitely want to keep the Chastised Man open because like I was saying before, I didn't think that he saw it. Evidently I was right because we're gonna gain six more life here. And just like that, we've completely turned around this match. I don't even care what five cards he has at this point because he has to block now with his only remaining creature. It means that we're going to get in there. I don't know what that is about. Um, if your opponent has two lands for like the first five turns of a game, you should win. Um, but sometimes you're terrible. So anyway, we get through here. I don't know. He's smiling. So maybe he's, he, he seems like a good guy. His name's Jonathan. He's got some, some hair and stuff. Um, I kind of, I mean, I could have played Baneslayer here. I guess I probably should have. I didn't really want Baneslayer to die because it's got so many tricks uh, and things that it can do. So I figured if he had the O-Ring or something, now he has to target my 9-9. I'd have two flyers out eventually. I, I There's not really something he can have that's going to win for him here. I feel like I'm in a great position. Really flip this around, and that's really... That's what this is all about, you guys. This is the journey. Emotional roller coaster that is Magic the Gathering. Um, now, I just have such an advantage here that I know he's doing something, but there's no reason for me not to do this. Uh, because I assume he has a removal. That's why he said hit me hard. Like, you shouldn't talk to your opponents while you're playing ever. Um... There is no instant speed removal in that pile, but I didn't know what the hell, like, what the fuck he was talking about. Uh, so I just bashed in with both creatures. It doesn't really matter. I still gain a bunch of life, and I have Baneslayer. There's not, like, that card seldom swings momentum enough to make it good. Um, but 
this guy obviously obviously thought he had something cooking there. Um, at this point, I think he concedes. He's got the O-ring, but it's never enough. It's just not going to do it at this point. So I did uh, foresee the removal of that guy over the Bane Slayer, which was, was cool. We're right about that. Yeah, at this point, I'm like, I have Sovereign, so you, you just made me win effectively by playing those two guys. Um... But, yeah, I mean, it just just a good, solid time, I think. This was a fun one for me, personally. Um, just a good match, really. Uh, just showcases how good this life gain deck can be, depending on how you run it. I don't know why I'm playing cards here, just for funds, I guess. Um, I mean, I didn't draw my mana for Sovereign, which made me kind of sad, but I don't know why I all main phased that thing like that but there's really nothing in his deck that's going to win for him uh i just have such a powerful hand too because i can even drop the two four flyer have him dead in two turns uh if something crazy happened so it's just a really favorable position he goes ahead and leaves we're taking on audric he equips pen and blade because why why not at this point i guess that is the computer's thinking just hey i've been given a pen and blade i guess i have to use it uh, it gives that dude plus one, plus one, which is great. I'm at 49 life, so I don't care. Uh, this is really weird. I don't know. I, it's just cool footage. I've started running the camera, I guess, recorder when I'm on Steam sometimes. It's it's harder to play that way if I'm fully in my Windows partition. I don't record at all. It's just when I'm on my Mac a little bit. Um, so it's not all the time. If you run into me on Steam, you're not guaranteed to be recorded by any means, but it is something that I've been playing around with because sometimes you do get really good games like this, and I think this was a pretty good game uh, where it's just good old-fashioned fun for the whole family, and uh, I don't know. Well, hopefully I find a way to, to capture more of these. I probably should let the sound play, but I usually do listen to music while I'm playing. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.